I should have talked about this on the stream earlier today. Unfortunately, I completely forgot. I admitted this story. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to go over a, a horrific trend in the military. This was published last month. Or No, I lied. It wasn't last month. It was in, on the 14th, I believe. Yep, July 14th of this year, 2022. All right, so with few able and fewer willing, U.S. military can't find recruits. Fighting headwinds from the scamdemic, the tight labor market, and demographic shifts. The armed forces may fall, sh uh, fall for the short of enlistment quotas this year than they have in decades. Um, there are two things that stand out here. First off, the scamdemic, absolutely. Who would have thought that you would scare away talented uh, recruits by saying, hey, when you sign up and join us, we're going to pump your body full of uh, pharmaceutical products. That would certainly deter really talented individuals from ever signing up or joining any branch of the military. You treat your people like crap, and they're going to reject the entire institution. What a surprise. And demographic shifts. I can't believe a filthy social justice rag like the New York Times would admit demographic shifts play a major role. We'll get into that in a moment. Hang tight. Uh, so here's an image of these recruiters at a, at a nearby Walmart. They're completely failing to recruit anybody into joining the military and fighting for Joe Brandon's lawless regime. Nobody wants to fight and die for Joe Brandon. This is actually a good thing. People think like, oh, no, we're going to lose the next war. Cuck-servatives are like, we're going to lose the next war. We're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna lose. Yeah, good. The, the weaker the military, that just means it'll be harder for them to oppress people like me, which is the, the end goal of the Democratic Party. Uh, for those who have not listened closely, or, or like I was a leftist at one point, or not really a leftist, but I was a Democrat. I was on the left. I was a hipster, a total hipster. And these people, they had wild fantasies about oppressing the right, oppressing Christian white men and humiliating them. Well, who's going to be the one to do that? It's not going to be the, the pink-haired SJWs that get relentlessly mocked by the libs of TikTok account on Twitter. It's going to be the military. They're going to be the ones uh, to come for our guns. They're going to be the ones to erode our civil liberties and human rights. It's going to be the police. It's not going to be, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the journo class, the professional class. They're not, going to be, they're not going to get their hands dirty. These are going to be their foot soldiers. So let's just continue. Uh, so this is uh, written by Dave Phillips. Uh, earlier this month on the 14th. All right, so the local Army recruiting station was empty. The normally reliable recruiting grounds at the nearby Walmart were a bust, with the Army still thousands of soldiers short of its recruiting goal. The station commander, Sergeant First Class James Pulliam, dressed head-to-toe in camouflage, scanned a strip mall parking lot for targets. He spotted a young woman getting out of a car and put on his best salesman smile. Hey, how'd you know I was going to be here today? The sergeant said with an affable Carolina drawl, as if greeting an old friend. I'm going to help put you in the army. These are tough times for military recruiting. Almost across the board, the armed forces are experiencing large shortfalls in enlistments this year. A deficit of thousands of entry-level troops that is on pace to be worse than, uh, than, uh, than any since just after the Vietnam War. It threatens to throw a wrench into the military's machinery, leaving critical jobs unfilled in some platoons with too few people to function. Oh, no. We don't want that, do we? Uh... Illness of particular relevance is part of the problem. Lockdowns during the scamdemic have limited recruiters' ability to forge bonds face-to-face -face with prospects, and the military's uh, vaccine mandate has kept some would-be troops away. Yeah, absolutely. Who would have thought that you would scare people away by uh, stating that you're going to force uh, pharmaceutical products to be injected into their body? Well, dude, these people are stupid if they didn't realize that that would be the, the consequence of the, of the, the forced, uh, you know, the, 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 these mandates. Goodness. Uh, unbelievably stupid people. Uh, or maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they're just nefarious. Who knows? Uh, the current white-hot labor market with many more jobs available than people to fill them is also a factor as rising civilian wages and benefits take military service or, or make military service less attract, uh, less enticing. Uh, this is actually not true at all. Uh, we're, we're already seeing signs of stagflation 
and uh, wages are not increasing the way that uh, no this is this is mostly bullshit right here new york times is running cover for joe brandon even in a in a scathing piece about uh the you know the state of the military's uh you know recruitment efforts so i, I guess here's an image of like these little girls or not little girls these young women uh, working, it looks like they're at some sandwich shop, and one of them is giving them a stink face for those who are like going to be listening to this only. And they, these dorks in the camouflage fatigues are like, "Yeah, sign up, sign up to die for Zelensky, sign up and fight for for y- Ukraine and another country that I'm not allowed to state, not allowed to mention. It's against the rules." All right, let's continue. Uh, but longer term, demographic trends are also taking a toll. Less than a quarter of young American adults are, are physically fit to enlist. That's not really what a demographic trend... No, no, sorry. But anyways, and have no disqualifying criminal record, a proportion that has shrunk steadily in recent years, and shifting attitudes towards military service means that now only about 1 in 10 young people say they would even consider it. I was one of these people once upon a time when I was much younger. Um, You know, I was like maybe 19 or 20. I I considered it. I thought about it. You know, there's this girl I I was dating. Uh, She ended up joining the Navy, and I I really liked her. I was thinking about following her, but, you know, it didn't work out. Anyways, uh, demographic trends. This is a really, really important one right here. Uh, People not being physically fit, yeah, that's a huge problem. But there's a lot of able-bodied people out there that are more than capable. There's plenty. Honestly, there's enough. But uh, the, those who are healthy and willing and uh, or, or not willing, but able, they're not willing to do this. The, the demographic trend. So what we're seeing here, um, as I'm making this video, the America keeps importing in hordes of illegal aliens, these stunning and brave men from all over the world or the third world. And these people, uh, the the Democrats, the the modern left, they like to say stupid shit like, uh, you know, oh, the, the, these people, they're more patriotic. They are more American. I consider them more American than all these Trumpsters, all these maggots. And uh, okay, that's fine. You know, it's your opinion. Um, but who's gonna who's gonna end up fighting for this country in the event that it gets invaded by, like, let's say Russia? You think they're gonna sign up and join? No, absolutely not. I mean, we have the admission right here. Uh, demographic trend is is is, a, is a one of the serious issues that is plaguing enlistment uh, quotas. So, unfortunately, people of European stock, traditional Americans, they they are becoming a minority, a hunted minority, and a hated, despised minority in their own country. Uh, you know, they they see the writing on the wall. This country hates them. This country, almost the the entirety of this country, is promoting bigoted hateful, racist policies in corporate America, in the military even, in academia, the press. The press is also promoting this uh, anti-European, anti-American sentiment. And and, and the majority of the people that would sign up and and fight for this country, for lack of better word, they're white. But what we have seen all you know for the past few years is you know the the schools the universities the the press the films uh, and in some aspects the military etc they're all saying if you have if you are not melanin enhanced you are largely responsible for all the problems in the world you are largely responsible for all of the suffering of certain groups of people in the United States and you know and because and as a result a lot of you know these non melanin enhanced individuals, these you know people who are white, they they're harming themselves, they're 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 hurting themselves, they're doing all these things, they're 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 sinking into a depression because they are held, you know, placed, uh, you know, they're, they're being blamed for things that that may or may not have happened in the past. Uh, people of European stock, you know, Trump supporters, etc. We're we're being held collectively guilty for things that that happened, you know, hundreds of years ago. Uh, we had nothing to do with it, but you know, again, you, we're we're having these young kids and and even like the members of the staff even do privileged walks. They're 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 meant to to reflect upon their privilege and their white supremacy views and their non conscious bias and all this other nonsense, and it's pissing people off. And because of this, people are checking out. You know, they're they're saying we don't want any part of this anymore. It's like we we get it, we get it. You hate us. You want us to perish. You want us to fight and die for Zelensky 
and other countries that I'm not allowed to name, and and, and, and Joe Brandon and Pelosi and uh, you know McConnell and Schumer, etc. I don't want to die for any of those people. They're the ones getting rich and benefiting greatly from uh, from exploitation of our uh, of, of the taxpayer. Have them go fight. Have their kids go fight. Uh, for whatever it is they they want to to have achieved in, in uh, outside the the United States, uh, you know whatever it is, they they should go fight for it. Uh, again, it, there's there's nothing in it for me. I'm not interested in fighting for this illegitimate regime, this lawless regime that is literally, literally torturing Americans, violating their constitutional and human rights. If I were to enlist and fight for this country, if I was drafted and willingly participated in some uh, conflict, uh, you know for for America. Uh, I would be fighting for, for the demise of my own people. I would be fighting for my own demise and my own subjugation. Um, and I'm just not interested in doing that. And I, I've yet to hear a compelling argument as to why I should fight. And, and most of the, the argumentation comes, uh, or most of the, the flack that I get comes from uh, you know people who are on, on the so-called right. And, and I call them cuck conservatives, and they are cucks. Uh, there, there's a handful of people who are serving that, that have like, reached out to me and said that I'm wrong. And that I'm, you know, that, that my, my worldview is wrong and I'm out of line. Uh, they've yet to convince me and make a compelling case as to why it would be uh, important for somebody like me to, to willingly participate in a fight uh, against, let's say, Russia. Let's say the Russians storm the beaches of California and there, there's just not enough military personnel to, to push back against the invading force. And there was, and, and then the militia, you know, the so called militia is. is called upon to, to, you know, to, to assist them. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't be interested in lifting a pinky for those people. Um, it's not my fight. I, I, I stand to gain nothing from it. Uh, again, California has a lot of stunning and brave individuals. I hear that they're incredibly brave. Why aren't they enlisting in droves? Why aren't they all these, these, these uh, you know, military-aged males being imported into the country? Uh, I hear that they're so stunning and amazing. Why aren't they interested in fighting and defending this country? Oh, that's right. Because people like me, the taxpayer, we pay for their free housing. We pay for their food stamps. We pay for their free education. They get a world-class education, allegedly world-class. Uh, you know, they can go to any university, any Ivy League school. They can go anywhere they want, and it is paid for by me. And uh, whatever jobs they do get, if they, if they get paid under the table, they get to keep all their income. They don't have to pay taxes. They don't have to do anything. They have a good. Why would they want to give up that, that amazing life? I don't blame them for, for ripping off this country, ripping off the taxpayer. I would do it too if I was them. And I would not lift a finger myself if I was them and, and die for this. I would just go back to my home if I had to, if the country was being invaded. But, uh, yeah, to, to fight and push back against, let's say, an invading Russian force would, would essentially be me fighting for my own subjugation. That's just the, the reality of it. Let's continue. To try to counter those forces, the military has pushed enlistment bonuses as high as $50,000, and that is true, and is offering quick ship cash uh, of up to $35,000 for certain recruits who can leave for basic training in 30 days. That is, that is certainly true. And, uh, pff, yeah, uh, not enough. You can, you can dangle a million dollars in cash right now, and I wouldn't do it. Uh, I have principles. I, I have my, um, you know, I have my core values. And I'm just not interested in fighting for this country. There's just nothing in it for me. I'm not going to die for the Hollywood sexuals. I'm not going to die for Joe Brandon. I'm not going to fight for those people either. I'm not going to advance the, the, you know, the, the, the values of this country. And what does this country value? Greed, pornography, uh, trans rights, all this bullshit. Like, it, like, what does America stand for right now as I'm making this video? What is our greatest exports? Pornography. What is a, you know, it, it's, it's woke cinema from Netflix, from Disney. You know, we don't make anything great anymore. We don't do anything great anymore. All, all, we're all just you know, uh, messing around and, and we're not doing anything great. This country is not great anymore. We've outsourced all the great jobs. We're, we're losing the knowledge to manufacture and build amazing things, which is absolutely essential for a nation to survive. It's, it's got to be able to produce shit. And now our farming apparatus, our, our agriculture is going to be taking a massive hit because of the intervention of Bill Gates and, of course, the communist Chinese government. 
and they're meddling in our, in our agriculture, a country needs to be able to feed itself, feed its own people, or it's going to, you know, decay. It's going to fall into chaos, and that's certainly what we're seeing now. Yeah, and it's like, and I'm supposed to fight for this? I'm supposed to die for this? You know, again, it's just like you know, all these 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 people in the military they're just like oh you know i served in iraq i served in afghanistan again like i i have nothing against the troops i have nothing against veterans uh most of these people are fantastic and wonderful and exceptional in, in more than one way but but right now as it stands th this country is not worth fighting for and i've argued in the past it's like i'm not going to go and fight in the middle east and and die for for these oil executives for the cheneys for for the 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 business interests of, of these large corporations, it's just not worth it. I mean, just look at how a lot of our veterans are treated. They end up homeless, their bodies are destroyed, their minds are destroyed, and nobody gives a fuck about them. You know, where are all these, like, like, dude, like, if the government moved as quickly to assist our, our fallen veterans, our, our you know, our, and, and assist our soldiers in, in, in improving their standards of living, improving their wages, the way that they improve the standard of living of these illegal alien criminals who violate uh, our sovereignty, break our laws. I mean, uh, my tune would be a little different, but it's like, dude, like the government doesn't give a fuck about these people. If you are of European stock, do not join the military. The money is not worth it. Your life is worth more than anything that the military has to offer you. And that is a fact. Again, the, the, all these stunning and brave people that are apparently better than us, let them fucking fight. Let them join up. Because uh, this ain't going to be me. I'm not going to have the military exploit my knowledge, exploit my talents. And, and again, I'm just I'm not going to fight for, for these pornographers, for Hollywood, for Brandon, Joe Brandon, for the Pelosi's. I, I fucking hate these people. I hate what this country stands for. I hate what this country exports. It's evil. I'm not going to fight for evil. I would be committing a sin. Christ would look... Would look negatively upon me if i were to be fighting for this the army uh, let's continue the army is the largest of the armed forces and the recruiting shortfall is hitting it the hardest as of late june it had recruited only about 40 percent of roughly fifty-seven thousand new soldiers it wants to put in boots by september 30th by the end of the fiscal year well, well hopefully uh, they don't reach that goal they don't reach anywhere close to it that would be beneficial for everybody so sergeant pulliam 41 a helicopter mechanic who turned to recruiting five years ago was hunting for anyone who might want to join even if they did not know it yet like many soldiers before uh Oh, yeah, like many soldiers who make recruiting their career, he believed in what he was selling because he knew what Army had done for him before he enlisted in 2012. He was a 31, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I changed my entire life. Let's get the need to tell people, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Uh, was, oh, yeah, so he, the, this guy, the sergeant commander dude, uh, the young woman in the strip mall parking lot was on her way to get a pizza and looked confused when the tall man in green began pitching pitching her on the benefits of serving her country. She eventually apologized politely and said she could not join up, gesturing to an insulin pump clipped to her shorts. Yeah, eating pizza, insulin pump, Jesus. Uh, the sergeant made a mental note, diabetic, not fit to serve, but he did not give up. Okay, well, just give me a name. One number I can call right now. He pressed. You got to know someone who might want to join one number, and I'll leave you alone. Uh, seconds later, he was on the phone with one of the woman's friends. She says you want to join the army? Uh, the sergeant said as if he were announcing the winning Powerball numbers. Where you work, I can meet you when you get done. The sergeant paused, turned, and said, dude, just hung up on me. Moments later, the friend was calling the woman's cell phone. Sergeant Pilliam smiled and leaned toward her conspiratorially. Wouldn't it be weird if I answered? He said, it'd be like I was a Jedi recruiter. Let me take this one. The woman giggled as the sergeant held her phone up. Um held her phone up and announced that he was ready to give the friend a second chance oh well isn't he generous uh the friend hung up again <laughs> oh man the other branches are not having any easier of a time the navy and marine corps do not release recruiting figures before the end of the fiscal year spokesman said but both have acknowledged that it will be hard for them to meet quotas this year oh yeah it'll be really really hard it's just not worth it you guys it's not fucking worth it why would i fight and die for any of this bullshit it's all fucking bullshit. And again, the, the weaker the military, the harder it is for them to oppress us, which is what they're going to aim to do. I mean, I, I've been really releasing these really uh, funny uh, TikTok shorts and videos, and it's just like, you know, uh, all, the, all, the things that they all the things that they did and they used to, to help uh, erode our, our constitutional uh, rights, our civil liberties and human rights, etc. Uh, they're coming back. Monkey pox is now a thing, and 
uh, the resurgence of uh, you know a particular illness of significant relevance that's coming back too, and it, it just it's it's never gonna end, guys. But if they don't have the muscle to muscle us around, uh, we might stand a chance. That's all I gotta say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Peace.